mark of a spark of memories, a place where you can build a healthy relationship with food pairs and yourself. And in front of you is what we are actually going to be making today, some pink salmon skinless fillets. So let's go ahead and get started. Have some honey, 100%. Then we have some soy sauce. And of course, we have our non-GMO butter, some olive oil, some butter spray. Then we have some lemon pepper, since I couldn't find any lemon. And then we have some cane sugar. That'll be our brown sugar today. Then we have honey Dijon mustard. Although we are already going to use honey, we're also going to use honey Dijon mustard too. They want to have like a hint of honey in there. And of course, you have your pan. And to make things even better, we're going to use some heavy duty Reynolds wrap. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we have your salmon. Of course, I do the prepackaged one, so I have to cut this and then put it in a container. Add some water. There for me, my white vinegar is going in there. That should be enough. And enough of the water. them over a little bit okay what you want to do is actually have it in the water for a little bit move them around and then you want to rinse them with just plain old cold water so that you could get it clean at this point some people might actually use lemon or lime to rub on there so that's totally option if you want to. Just assuming you have lemon or lime. But if I don't have it, then regular white vinegar does the trick the same. Get it clean so you don't have much of that fishy scent, although it is fish. You want to clean it before you do anything else with it. Right here, I am preheating the oven for 350 degrees. And here we have the Reynolds wrap. We actually put it on the container you saw earlier. And then we sprayed some of this butter flavored it helps with non-stick cooking spray assuming you may or may not have a non-stick pan and the foil paper is so it's easy cleanup so that's one thing you would like to do you could go ahead and do such you want to cut up your garlic i'm going to add some onions and then we're going to make some sauce okay at this point you want to go ahead and start putting your onions on there Along with your like, pieces of garlic, you want to have them a good size. So once you do it, it's going to look like something like this. We have onions and garlic on there. And then you want to carefully take your salmon and actually place them on there. Really nice and neat. Exactly where you want it to go. And then, of course, you want to start adding your season. I'm doing the lemon pepper, Mrs. Dash. It says salt free. And of course, then we're going to mix all the other ingredients together to make the marinated sauce, which would be the honey, your soy sauce. We're going to pour a little olive oil after we pour in Mrs. Dash. And then with the marinated sauce, we're also going to put the brown sugar and honey mustard. Honey Dijon mustard. Okay, so here we have the butter that's melting down. We actually use a half a stick of butter, which is about four in terms of the lines that comes on the butter. So now we want to add these ingredients together. And your favorite friend at this point would be the tablespoon. A tablespoon of each one of these from the sugar, the honey dijon, soy sauce, and the honey. You want to mix that into the butter. You also want to add some red crushed peppers if you want a little heat okay so here's the salmon when you actually mix those ingredients together it will give you a nice color like this and what you want to do is put some onto the fish a giant amount on all of them and then you want to place it in the fridge okay so we done took the salmon out of the refrigerator and we actually pour in a pan some butter and we took out the onions and garlic and place it in a pan of course some of the sauce because it was literally marinating with the salmon it gave you a nice glaze that's happening 
because with all the flavors and juices, you want to get that good one before you start adding your salmon in there. Okay, so we already flipped it on the one side. As you see, it's still bubbling. It still has the sauce all around. It hasn't not yet start carbolizing until you actually put it in the oven. So for me, I want to make sure it's fully cooked before I actually start doing the caramelization around it and on it. So at this point, we're just going to leave it cook a little longer and then place it in the oven for a few minutes. Anywhere from 10 to about 15 minutes. So here's the finished product. Of course, putting it in the oven did help a little bit as far as the cook on there, but you don't want to leave it in too long because it will actually dry it out even though it adds sauce around there. So next time, this is Miss Sitema for Sparkling Memories. Bye-bye.